Hi guys, so uh, today we're going to learn a little bit about bitstream flicking. And uh, bitstream flicking is part of this whole bigger idea of having Boolean algebra. And basically, uh, we're going to learn how to do a bunch of different stuff with those zeros and ones that you see stacked together. Um, so I also am going to have another video about just like an introduction to Boolean algebra that's going to take this a step farther. Uh, so if you feel like you, you got this stuff down, uh, move on to the next one. But let's uh, look at some important operations. And these are mostly just like logic operations. And they're in the order of operations. like uh, Meaning that if you have an expression with all of these in it, you know which one to do first depending on who's on top. So if you see a knot, you always do the knot first. Then you do shift and circulate first uh, after that, and then you do an and, and then exclusive or, and then or. Um, don't worry about shift and circulate until the next slide, but to tell you what this does is basically not turns a true into a false. So uh, what you would have is, just a second, what you would have is this like, squiggly sign squiggly true <laughs> that means not true and that is false and these are just like how to handle logic operations we also have and um, and basically needs both things to be true so we've got one thing over here that's true and the other thing which is also true and that that is true but if one of them is true and the other one is false, that's false. And if both of them are false, then the final one is false also. Um, now, you're going to be wondering, like, what the heck is true? What is false? Like, what are we talking about? Well, it can be anything. Like, I can say, we're going to the park if you do your homework and finish your chores. Uh, so let's just pretend that the first one is doing your homework and the second one is doing your chores. Uh, first one is true, you know, uh, you did your homework. Second one is also true, you did your chores. So, are we going to the park? That is true. We've also got exclusive or. This one's probably like the weirdest. Exclusive or um, needs both, and it also has a stupid symbol. Uh, exclusive or needs both things to be, uh, it, it needs one thing to be true and only one thing to be true. So for example, I don't know, uh, I'm trying to think of an example here. Let's just say your parents are weird and they're like, we're going to go to the park if you either do your homework or I do my chores and not if you do both. So let's see. I guess you know, it would say, okay, you did your homework. Okay, so looking good so far. Oh, but I also did my chores, so that's not going to work out. It's false. However, true, and, uh, true, exclusive, or false, that is true, because one of them is true, and only one of them is true. And of course, uh, false and false is still false. Um, then we've got or. Or, is, or makes more sense, to be honest. Um, also, the symbol is like this line that goes down on your keyboard. It's above the enter sign. Um, now, or basically needs one thing to be true. And both things can be also true. So, uh, you know, true or true is true. True or false is true. But, you know, still, if it's false or false, uh, that's false. So, I don't know, again, the situation could be something like, uh, we're going to go to the park if you, your parents are a little more lenient this time. They say, you know, we want you to do your homework and your chores, but we'll go to the park if you do only, if you do at least one of them. So, did you do your homework? True. Uh, okay. Uh, and did you do your chores? True. All right, you did both of them. Good job. We're going to the park. Uh, did you do your homework? That's true. Did you do your chores? That's false, but it's okay because we only wanted you to do one of them anyway, so we're going to the park. But, you know, still, if you don't do your homework or your chores, uh, you're not going to the park. And those are 
my least favorite examples ever, but I am I have been forced to use them. So uh, let's bring this into the world of computers. Now I know that you think uh, I've, you've probably heard that the zeros and ones on a computer mean like turn on or turn off. Um, we can basically say that true turns into one and false turns into zero. So whenever you see, well not whenever, but most of the time whenever you see an equation like uh, when you see an expression like one one zero one, in in some sort of way that represents true true false true because the ones are trues and the zeros are falses. So let's learn how to bitstream flick. Bitstream flicking is basically just moving these numbers around. Um, and to be honest, I don't know why. I don't know why anybody would ever want to do a left shift. And you know what? You're just going to have to be okay with that. You're just going to have to accept the fact that it's, you know, I'm sure some computer science PhD could give me a great reason why. I just personally in programming, I've never thought I would need it. However, left shift, we've got, for shifting, we've got left shift and right shift. And this number is basically like how many uh, you shift it by. So left shift, we basically move all of these numbers. Um, excuse me. Left shift, we basically move all of these numbers to the left. And because it's left shift 2, we do it twice. So, and also uh, ignore this orange line right now. But, you know, let's, let's start from all the way uh, on this end. Well, if you have to shift it to the right twice, this one wouldn't be here, wouldn't be here, no. It would be one, two. That's where the one goes. And the zero, shift that, uh, and the zero has to be over here. And this one has to be over here. And these two numbers, right, these two numbers got, like, shoved out. Because when you shift, at the end of it, you need to have the same number of digits. In this case, it's five. So we're still going to have to stick with these five white lines right here. And these guys got shoved out. Well, guess what? We don't care about them anymore. They are deleted. They are wiped from our memory. And you'll notice we have these two blank spots. What we do is just we put in zeros. That's all we do. Uh, you don't really have to worry about why. We just do. So let's do right shift. Um, right shift. So let's start with here. Uh, this zero all the way uh, on our left, if it goes right, uh, if it goes to the right two spots, it's not here, it's not there, it's there. And then everything else kind of builds from that. So the, the one that was on its right goes there. The one that's on the right of that goes there. And then we've got a zero and one that just got like shoved out. We don't care anymore. We have deleted them from our memory and we fill in the space with zeros. All right. So, now that we did now that we did shift, let's do circulate. Uh, and circulate you also have left circulate and you have right circulate. Um, circulate is almost doing the same exact thing except you don't really uh, you, except this time we're not going to forget about the numbers and I'll show you what I mean by that. So, left circulate twice means we shove everything to the left two times. Well, left, uh, let's shove this to the left twice. So, this would go, this would go not one, but two, okay? And this zero would go not one, but two. And this one would go not one, but two to the left, right? Well, let's just write that down for now. Um, so what do we got? What do we got? Uh, whoops, one. That's zero, one, right? So you're going to be wondering, like these two numbers, this guy and this guy, where does he go? Like, I mean, because we can't just put him to the left twice. Well, guess what? He goes to the left, but he just gets circled back. And instead of losing him in our memory, he just uh, he just goes back here. Whoops. There we go. Sorry. And 
that guy right there, he just goes there. So it's kind of like left shift, but instead of like forgetting about the two numbers that get shoved to the side, that get shoved out, we put those numbers on the other end. So let's do the opposite again. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So let's circulate to the right twice. So that 0 all the way on the left ends up here, and then 1, and then 1, and then this 0, this uh, 0 towards the right, well, he goes 1 over there. Uh, wait, actually, let's see if I, let's make sure I did this right. Yeah, okay. He goes there, and then he, he, okay, he goes to the right once, and then Instead of getting shoved out, he just goes all the way to the back. Who's there, I guess. And then this one goes all the way to the back and then goes right even one more time. So that's what you get. Now, I hope I didn't go too fast or too quickly for you guys, but um, what I would say for these is don't worry about why you're doing this. Just do it. And... Just do it like five times on five, you know, five different binary expressions like that, and you'll be okay. Just do right circle maybe four, right circle two, right circle one. Uh, play around with it, and you know, when you run into problems, you can just kind of logically think your way through it. Um, but you can also use the examples that I gave you to make sure that uh, you're doing them right. But the next lesson, I guess is going to be a lesson on Boolean algebra, which is going to be taking this a little, uh, like, one step further. So until then, stay tuned, and uh, good luck.